Here's a proven way to solving the dilemma of storing your Lego figures. Lego's figures feet are starting to show stress marks and some of them are even cracking after being left on Lego OEM bricks for too long. Typically on reddish brown and dark brown legs as the dye used in the brown colors recipe tends to be a little bit weaker for binding the ABS plastic pigments together. Don't even get me started on these torso cracks because I legit have no advice besides just not pressing the torso down all the way. This looks awful in my opinion. There's already a solution for the leg stress marks like this little piece. If there's no motion at all, this works great. No stress at all on the bricks, but I store my figs in a pull-out IKEA Alex drawer and when I open the vault, they... Yeah. So what's the piece that can solve this problem while also being brick built? Well, here's the plate, round, one by two, with open studs. The open studs in the middle allow for more flexibility and less stress on the feet when connected. This almost feels lighter on the feet than traditional studs, and it also seems to be a little bit lower. Placing this on top of the base plate also holds the figure in place. Some users experience issues when once placed on bricks for a long period of time that the hips start to space out the figure, and they can no longer fit on normal OEM base plates. Never been my own personal experience, but again, this is what you guys have and telling me does indeed happen. They're just not making these GCC figures feet again. I'm gonna take every measure possible to make them safe. Understanding this meta goes deeper. Quick accessible figs, extremely organized. I mean, you could just dedicate an area to caped and camoed figures as well. This protects them from damage and these delicate cloths won't see as much fraying as usual when they're rubbed against each other or other harsh plastics. The vault itself isn't a new idea by any means. I actually accidentally ran into a user while making this video who shared his collection and how he stores them in an Alex drawer, which reminded me there's another method to this madness and it's just leaving the figs loose in the drawer which i get it easy accessible figures with the cost of just being a little disorganized i mean if you're not using figures uh capes i do this with a tub stored above me i put them in little bags i break them up into their trilogies and other tv other media and i just love being organized like this so what's stopping you from picking up an ikea drawer some base plates and a ton of these little open stud pieces this has dramatically improved my workflow for quick accessibility while shooting and i hope this helps you guys out as well that's it.